tayari na soma kwa niaba ya mwanahabari mwenzangu Elpina Nyambu jina langu ni Faith Anyula naye mtangazaji katika lugha ishara anafahamika kama Evelyn Langat Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ameongoza taifa katika kuadhimisha miaka hamsina sita tangu kupata uhuru kwenye sherehe ambazo zimewaleta viongozi wa matabaka mbalimbali pamoja. Kwa mara nyingine Rais Kenyatta amesitiza umuhimu wa Kenya kuungana kwa pamoja katika ujenzi wa taifa katika sherehe zilizojawa na mbwembwe huku wa Kenya wakijitokeza kwa wingi. Kwa mara nyingine sherehe za jamhuri ambazo zimeandaliwa katika uga wa Nyayo hapa jijini Nairobi zimeashiria umoja wa taifa ukuwa Kenya wakijumuika kwa pamoja kuadhimisha moja wapo wa siku muhimu kwa taifa. Viongozi wa kuu serikalini wakipata fursa nyingine ya kutangamana na Wakenya na Ibrahim William Ruto pamoja na kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga kuwasili katika sherehe hizo tayari kuongoza viongozi kutoka matabaka mbalimbali. Waziri mkuu wa Barbados Miamor Motley aliwasili kama mgeni mheshimiwa wa makala ya mwaka huu ya sherehe hizo kuharibishwa kwake na Ojo Rais Kenyatta tayari kukiashiria maadhimisho kabambi ya miaka hamsina sita ya uhuru. Akihutubia wananchi baada ya kukagua gwaride la jeshi la Kenya, Rais Kenyatta alirejelea wito wake wa kuhakikisha kuwa serikali imetekeleza mpango wa kuwaja uchumi wa maji katika mpango wa ajenda kuuneza serikali. Each of us you and me must make daily decisions purely driven by Kenya's wider and enduring interests. To return our river to course, we must live and breathe that mantra of Kenya, Kwanza, Leo, Kesho, na Milele. Kenyata alikariri atuwa za serikali kwa kikisha mazimio mwaka elfu mbili thelathini kufanikisha maisha wa Kenya. In 2019, We are not asked to fight in the forests or to confront colonial powers. We are called upon to obey the law, to discharge our civic duty, to conserve our environment, to care for our parents and our children, to refuse to be corrupt, to be mindful of our neighbors, to bring blessings to the less fortunate, to resist negative ethnicity, tribalism, and religious divides and everything that undermines our unity and cohesion. Katika hotuba yake Rais Kenyatta alihakiki mpango wa kuhakikisha wa Kenya wanapata nyumba zenye bei nafuu akisema kuwa mpango mzima utaendelea hadi mwaka 2022. Hata hivyo Kenyatta aliomba wa Kenya kushirikiana katika kodi ya malipo ya nyumba ili kufanikisha mradi huo. We are a nation called upon to be great. To be a beacon of hope for others. To be on this earth the reflection of divine providence, favor and protection to secure and strengthen our democracy. Now is the time to recommit ourselves and put Kenya first. Kadhalika Rais Kenyatta alielezea wito wa serikali kubuni nafasi za kazi huku akisema kuwa serikali inazingatia ukuaji kasi wa uchumi hata hivyo akiwahakikishia wa Kenya kuwa serikali itazingatia kupunguzwa kwa kodi wanaotozwa wa Kenya Our education system has also witnessed a rapid expansion of tertiary education both in terms of access as well as scope and our universities polytechnics and vocational training institutions ensure that every Kenyan has an opportunity to further their knowledge and expertise fueling livelihoods and enabling passions and dreams to come true Makala ya 56 kuadhimisha siku ya jamhuri inawalia wakati ambapo wa Kenya wanalamikia ongezeko la hali ngumu ya maisha huku wengi wakilalamikia ukosefu wa ajira lakini sasa macho yote yataangazia serikali kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu mwaka 2022 Chris Sambu Runinga ya KU